first step is just to spray down your tin foil, a little bit of oil, just so the fish doesn't stick. You see all the pieces are kind of random, and that's because cleaning a pike, you're kind of cleaning it in sections, and you can find that video on our social channels to learn how to clean a pike, but you'll end up with a lot of different sized pieces, and we're just gonna place them all on the foil here, and then we'll salt and pepper them a little bit. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna bake these guys for about 20 minutes at 350, and that'll help get them all cooked and ready so that you can break them down for the fish cakes. While the pike is in the oven cooking, in a good sized mixing bowl, you'll add your breadcrumbs, a large egg, some fresh lime juice, one seeded jalapeno, and a tablespoon of cilantro, finished off with a half a green onion. I'd like to think that I'm in relatively good shape, but it always surprises me how difficult it is to squeeze the juice out of a lime. Once you've got all the ingredients in, mix them up well, and then add the fish after it's done cooking. Break it up by hand and mix all the ingredients together, forming kind of a goo that you can make cakes out of. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna form the cakes. Like I was saying, with pike being a little bit more difficult to clean and kind of getting more like scrappy meat out of it, Making cakes can be easier um, for prepping it. I like to make mine a little thinner than most. I guess bigger than a silver dollar, but when they're thin, you can make them nice and golden and crispy, and I like that crunchy shell, especially on the outside. But you're just forming them to about the size of your liking. And then you'll take them over to the frying pan, sear them on both sides for about two to three minutes. great. I absolutely love fish cakes. Sometimes I'll sprinkle some cheese over the top. It's good to do an extra little spritz of lime over the top. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I absolutely love that flavor. It's so good. You know, I've gone out walleye fishing with some kids and we'd catch a few pike and I would bring them in and clean them. And one of the things I like to do would separate the pike and the walleye and not tell the kids which was which. And oftentimes, the kids would actually pick the pike to be their favorite. A lot of people don't realize that, but man, are they good, and this recipe is to die for. Check it out at thegreenwayoutdoors.com. Thanks for tuning in, and stay green.